and welcome to Jeremax Eastern. I am, of course, Bubba the Love Fudge, lead commentator for Jeremax. Are you here? This is my show. I'm the Executive Vice President of Inflation, Mr. Don Bronchitis. I can do this on my own pretty well, you know. I don't see why you gotta cramp my style. I'm not cramping your style. You look like an amateur after Carpenter Wally and Ron Bronchitis did their little shtick last week. Obviously, you need a partner too, and I'm here. Oh, I could have got a much better partner than you. You suck. But who doesn't suck is Bludgeon in here with a young man. Bludgeon, we saw him. A uh, pretty short match he had in his debut on the last Eastern, and I think this one's about to be just as short. Oh! He bludgeoned him! <laughs> okay, he didn't really bludgeon him, but... Yeah, maybe you should make your jokes actually make sense before you laugh. Reverse DDT! That's what put the jobber away before, and that's what's about to put this jobber away again. It's over! Very impressive talent is bludgeoned! I don't know if anybody can stop him. I have a feeling we're gonna see him over and over again until maybe he might win the light heavyweight title one day. God save the soul of whoever's the champ when he fights him. But, you know what? I think it's pretty exciting to see someone just dominating his bludgeon. Maybe he'll actually get to face people with names once. Who knows? I'll try to get that to happen next week. I'm running out of nameless people. But you know what's up next, Don? Yes, I booked the show! Oh. Well, this is not Nameless People. In fact, the four people in this match, this number one contender's four-way match, each have a famous name as they're related to a Jeremac superstar. This is the little man, the illegitimate son of Grover Cleveland, allegedly, Oscar Cleveland. I'm very excited about him. Oh, God. Why'd you bring this guy in? He's not even... Oh, this guy's a very impressive mechanic. He works on my car. He's actually Dorf Legleton's uncle. His uncle Odie Legleton. Oh. Clearly, you should just give a job to anybody who does something for you. Yeah, I know. I was being sarcastic. I don't know much about this person, so you're going to have to fill me in. Well, he's related to a superstar. He's related to a famous superstar, actually. This is Frostbite Bradley. He's a very impressive talent. He's the artist's brother. I didn't know he had a brother. Neither did I. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know this one. Let me handle this, Don. This is the cousin of Danielle Bryan. Daniel Bryan! Oh, my! That's a WWE superstar. He's a very impressive talent. I guess. We're, oh, <laughs> what the hell was that? I don't know. <laughs> Not a good start for Odie Lingleton and Daniel Bryan. They smash heads trying to go after the others. Odie bringing it to the outside is a mechanic, so I guess he wants to get hardcore. Oh! Frostbite Bradley's missing off the top. It's very smart in the way of, uh... Oscar Cleveland to get out of the way, but what the hell is Frostbite doing? He's a little rampunctious, yet very impressive. Uh, my mechanic on the outside, though, really bringing it all oh, right into the pole. Knocks Daniel Bryan down. He's a brawler. He knows how to use his hands. And, uh, meanwhile, Frostbite Bradley's working some kind of submission on the man's illegitimate son. No, I was alive back when that scandal happened. Uh, Grover Cleveland, they never officially said he was his son, but he still helped the mom out because he felt obligated. Well, that's because the man is a nice and generous person. And, you know, I'd like to see... I'd like to see Oscar Cleveland get the number one contender spot, fight the light heavyweight champion next to Eastern. Wait a minute. Oh, and he hits it this time as Daniel Bryan rolls up Odie Legleton. Oh, Odie Legleton. He's missing an eye. Yeah. And you trust that guy with your car. He's the only one who will work on my car. He's the only person who works on cars that old. I'm sure you can find somebody who isn't missing an eye. Hey, are you a racist? One, 
missing an eye is in a race, and wait a minute. And, oh, the man son is gone. You made me miss it. Frostbite Bad Bradley's, bleh, excuse me. Some kind of a pinning hurricane Rana takes out Oscar Cleveland, who I guess is gonna stay on the outside. Who's got nowhere else to go? Daniel Bryan dumping out Bradley's, the brother of the artist. Daniel Bryan, wait, oh man, he's got cheese, oh boy. Daniel Bryan not gonna like that. I think vegans are not fans of cheese because it comes from a cow. Clearly, Frostbite Bradley's is just mocking Daniel Bryan. Oh, I heard he's kind of a nerd. Oh, look, he needs help to take down Odie Legleton because he's a nerd. Really? He's a nerd. Well, that's what I hear. That's what Jeremy Superstar Michael Cole and Matt Icorn told me. Well, as to be expected from them, Odie Legleton tossing Daniel Bryan to the outside. Daniel taking his time, wanting Frostbite and Odie to, I guess, hurt each other more or not. Nice suplex there by Daniel Bryan. I'm surprised we haven't seen a lot of submission wrestling from him. Wait a minute, rolls up Odie. One, no, oh. It's a little slow count there, ref. What are you talking about? There's no ref. Wait a minute. That's how Oscar got taken out. One, oh. Daniel Bryan quick to get out. Very impressive talent. He's a very impressive submission artist. Oh, the snowflake! I guess it's a family move. Daniel Bryan calling for the end. He's calling it for again, I guess. Frostbite and Daniel Bryan working together to take down the big man, Odie Legleton. And I have a feeling he's not gonna be working on your car anytime soon. That's okay, my car got stolen. Oh, that's kinda sad. No, I got, I got a bike. Oh. Oh my, look at the strength of Daniel Bryan. Remember, the winner faces the light heavyweight champion on the next Easter. Could we be looking at Jeremy's next breakout star, Daniel Bryan? Working on the leg. Working every limb he can. Perhaps setting up Frostbite Bradley's for a submission move. Perhaps the yes lock. Oh, what a... What a clothesline with a flip! Frostbite Bradley's very impressive talent. He's kind of a free spirit, as you can tell by his ink. Wait a minute, rolls him up, this could be it! One! No! Daniel Bryan just too hard to take down the experience of being on the indies for so long. Giving him the edge over the artist's brother, Frostbite. Of course, Frostbite, I assume, is his nickname, because no pair would actually name their son Frostbite. Well, on the snowflake. They named their son Winter. So who knows, and this could be it. Two, it is Frostbite Bradley's with the snowflake. Vintage Bradley's puts Daniel Bryan down, and he is going to face the light heavyweight champion on the next Eastern. Let's see this. Very impressive snowflake to a former world champion in Daniel Bryan. He's got to give a lot of momentum to Frostbite Bradley's. Wait. Oh, my! Oh, God. I, I honestly should have seen this coming. King Icorn making a nice special appearance here on Easter. Whoa, whoa, what's he doing? He's already on the roster. Yeah, but you should... Oh, I see. And Icorn, as you mentioned earlier, not a fan of Daniel Bryan. I don't think this is going to be good for Mr. Bryan. Well, Z was just letting him. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Very impressive. Un Hawaiian nightmare from the king. He's the king of heaven. Z can just go where he wants to and throw around. Wow. Throw around his weight. <laughs> you said about. This is not a laughing matter. Daniel Bryan coming so close to getting a light heavyweight title shot. Oh, look at this. Matt Icon with a submission move. Mocking Daniel Bryan, clearly. That's a very impressive submission move. I'd actually like to see that. More from him. Uh, 
This could be the next world champion! It's true, he is in that main event at Black Hole, but right now he's taking out... I guess some frustrations... Oh! On Daniel Bryan! You know what? I booked this show so next Eastern, we're gonna see Matt Icorn against Daniel Bryan! Oh yeah! That sounds like a... It's gonna be a squash, but it'll be fun to watch. So, Frostbite gets a title shot and Matt Icorn versus Dan O'Brien next week. But who will be the light heavyweight champion? We're about to find out right now, aren't we, Doc? Well, God, since you're on the screen, you goof. We have one of my old favorites. Neil Brent Harvader gives a love of shoes. Could to catapult him to a victory here tonight. Hi. <laughs> I don't think you understand the meaning of the word heel. I am very aware of what a heel is. It's part of your foot, part of a shoe. And he's obviously likes him enough to name himself after it. Darn darn stupidity, we have the light heavyweight champion beat sandwich arm drag on the last Eastern. Very popular up and coming star in the Vivian first, this is Evan O'Shea. I don't know if I want him in Jeremax, we already have an Evan. I'm in red corn. There, there's, there's not a limit on on names, Don. We had a Matt Hardy and a Matt Icorn at one point. Yeah, and look what happened to Matt Hardy. Evan O'Shea comes in here, I might have to get rid of him. Didn't Icorn say that Evan, uh, Evan Redcorn killed a guy? Well, yeah, but he was drunk. Evan Redcorn's drinking on the job now. I had a fire. No, Homer was drunk. Oh! He is the king, he's allowed to. No engine's ever gonna be the king. That's incredibly racist. Hey, you know what? You know, I founded the New World in Columbus. Those damn Evan Redcorns were all over the place. How old are you? Old enough to know that both these men are very impressive talents. Indeed they are, we've seen Heel Brett Arvinator come so close on many occasions. To win the title, or oh, what a splash! That was kind of sloppy, but now working the leg is Evan O'Shea, as we saw when he beat Sandwich Arm Drag. Likes to utilize submission. We've seen more submissions from him than we have from Daniel Bryan. Nice reversal from the light heavyweight champion. He's a very impressive submission specialist. You don't see a lot of tap outs in Jeremax. So he hitting that stripes too, or whatever it's called, on the Sandwich Arm Drag. He really proved he could get it done in the ring. But meanwhile, Evan, I guess, having a little bit of problems. Heel Brent Harvinator, very experienced here on Easter. He's been here. It's going to take a lot to, to come back and counter the. Wait a minute, another submission move from Evan O'Shea. If Evan O'Shea wants to really get in the mind, the Brent Harvinator figure out how to beat him, he's got to walk a mile in his shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Get it. What is wrong with you? Oh my god. I can't even respond to that. <laughs> you shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even gonna call him heel. Brent Harvinator was in control. Another reversal into a backdrop as Evan O'Shea going to punch his. Can you explain to me why there's rope breaks for punching someone in the face? Fuck up my head, Obviously not. Alright. Dragging him to the middle. Nice scoop slam. Guess he's planning for something here. Evan O'Shea going to the top. I guess he's quite a bit of a high flyer. Nice splash there by the light heavyweight champion who, I guess, momentum has shifted to his side, eh, Don? <laughs> Alright, Don's gone, so I guess I'm gonna finish this. Oh, elbow to the head, heel burn Arvader. He was in control early. Evan O'Shea once again going to the leg, setting up for his submission finisher, that cloverleaf. Nowhere to go, this could be it! Evan O'Shea <laughs> is doing very impressive in his late game fighting. It's like, he takes a lot of punishment and lets this opponent wear themselves out. That's when he goes with the strikes for the submission. Very good. Oh, a nice strategy from the light heavyweight champion. Uh, probably shouldn't be saying it on air. 
is, uh, if he wins, I'm sure Frostbite Bradley's is scouting him. Oh, I scout him every match. I like to scout Tealy. I know. That's your job. Well, meanwhile, this talent is getting ready for... Oh, there it is, that big Cloverleaf Stripes. And this has got to be it. You will bring a Harvey here. Manages to get to the ropes. Something Sandwich Arm Jack couldn't do. Obviously, look at him. He is physically in pain from Evan's submission. And I think it's only a matter of time. Without his legs. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, what a kick. Without his legs... It's gonna be hard to walk in his shoes! Uh, uh, oh, my! Goes for the submission again, but he's way near the ropes. Ah, uh, Brent Harvinator's... Oh! Blocks that. His leg is hurt, but his arms aren't. That gives him the ability to crawl to the ropes. But I think at this point, he's a wounded... deer. Just gotta put him out of his misery. Wait a minute, rolls him up! One, two, and it's over! Nonchalant victory there. But it's enough to put him away. Evan O'Shea earns his first Jarrah point. Just two away from earning a roster spot challenge. Let's see this replay. Well, he'll bring Harbin Eater. Had to rely on his upper body. His manly upper body. But it wasn't enough. His legs just hurt from the constant submission wrestling. And he can't kick out. Very impressive frostbite. Against Evan, I guess. Next Eastern for the title. Not only that, but Daniel Bryan versus King Matt Icorn. It's going to be a packed show. I am Bubba Love Fudge. Do not live your life as a very impressive talent. Me and Blee will see you on Warp. Hey! I didn't get to say my final bye. Bye. <laughs>